Uh, well, first of all, it's a sad day, as you guys uh, can imagine, around here, uh, you know, with the passing of Coach Knight. And um, first and foremost, I just want to send our condolences and our prayers to Karen uh, and his family uh, and to the Indiana family as we, um, you know, go through losing a legend. And, um, you know, it's... Um, like I said, it's just a sad day here in Bloomington for all of us. Um, but um, the game, uh, it was great that, um, you know, we could uh, play as many players. Uh, we kind of knew going into it. We were, we were hopeful that uh, uh, we would get off to a fast start, which we did, um, and uh, thought those uh, vets really looked like that, uh, you know, they were um, in rhythm and uh, looked like they were having some fun out there, um, playing fast. And, uh, and then, you know, we um, intentionally uh, started putting some of those young kids in there um, to play with some of the vets because we knew there would be some, uh, you know, in, not just anticipation, but some butterflies, which we expected. Uh, and uh, we wanted our vets to kind of help those guys, um, you know, uh, settle, get settled in. Uh, and then the second half, our, our plan was to do what we did, and that was just to try to get as, as many of those minutes to those young kids. And... Um, but, uh, you know, any time that you can look at the stat sheet and you have 30 assists, um, you know, 10 steals, 9 turnovers, uh, shoot the ball the way we did except for at the free throw line, um, and then you get to play a lot of kids, uh, we got some really good work done here tonight. So uh, we got to go back to work, though. We got, um, you know, a lot of work we have to do on the defensive side of the ball, and um, especially with our young kids, and we have to, we have to help them grow up rather fast. Yeah, Terry, before getting to the game with, with Bob Knight, um, did you have any interactions with him before you were named coach and then after he kind of came back um, here on campus? And I'm curious, is there anything with the students today and your players um, that, you know, what resonates in terms of what his legacy was? Well, I think uh, what resonates with me is, uh, to answer your question, I haven't met uh, Coach Knight, but, um, you know, wouldn't say that when I arrived here um, – you know, nine years ago that, uh, you know, he, he was in and we had conversation. He uh, did come back, you know, for the reunion, which is great. And I got to meet his wife and she's a, a uh, I've been told was a pretty spectacular basketball coach in the state of Texas. And so, um, you know, she, she, she's been to a couple of our games uh, with Dr. Ring's wife, uh, Ellie. Uh, and, um, and I do know that they watched, they watched us. Uh, I've been told by Pat uh, and Ellie Rink and Dr. Rink that uh, Coach Knight would, would watch us uh, play. Um, but my early memories of him is just growing up watching Indiana. And, um, you know, at that point, you, you try to, you're, you're searching for, um, you know, what you could perhaps be, become in life. And there wasn't a lot of, um, at least we didn't see it on TV, a lot of women, you know, female coaches that we could look at and say, gosh, that's something that I want to do. But, um, you know, I think for, for me, it was, you know, Coach Knight was it. You know, he was a fabulous coach. Um, and I fell in love with Indiana uh, men's basketball um, at a very, very young age. And, um, you know, he is uh, perhaps maybe one of the reasons that, um, you know, I, I'm sitting here today. Hi, Terry. Uh, in regards to Juliana and uh, Lene, what are some things that you liked and maybe room for improvement as well? Well, I think they both... Um, you know, we're excited. Um, I think with Juliana and and, um, and Bo both, uh, we, we have to help them get caught up and be so much better on the defensive side of the ball. Um, there was too many times where Jules just gave up direct drives. Uh, and part of that was um, she had happy feet tonight. You know, she was kind of moving and bouncing around and not really in a great stance. Um, and um, they, you know, it, it seemed like every time I looked up, somebody was was going down the rail you know a, a rail drive uh and and Jules was giving that up and so she'll get better you know I'm hoping that um you know this is just the beginning for her and 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 Lene and uh you know tonight was a big night for them to be able to play in front of Hoosier Nation and with fans in the stands and um you know they are they're pleasers they're workers they want to do they want to do right um and um you know they both have very very bright futures but uh you know, I'm sure that film is going to tell us that they also have a ways to go. 
Uh, Terry, you said it. I mean, and getting back to Bob Knight, I mean, he was it in the state of Indiana when you were young. Right. Uh, we're close to the same age. Uh, how did you process not only the, 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 the coach, mm -hmm. but the personality and kind of illustrate how that was back at that time yeah. and what an icon he was in that period? Well, I, you know, I think for me, Todd, it was um, what I... Uh, I, I didn't know, but I, I came when I was, um, came to know when I became a coach was the discipline part of it. You know, he was so disciplined uh, in the way that um, he ran his program and the expectation he had for his guys. And, you know, he, he didn't put up with a lot of crap, you know, and, and I like that um, ab about him. Um, and, and, and I think it's kind of similar in terms of, you know, how, how we try to run our program, you know. Um, we're very disciplined in nature. Uh, we do things uh, a certain way. We certainly have standards. We have expectations, um, you know, for our players. And we hold their feet to the fire. And um, if they can't live up to the standards, then, um, you know, sometimes they have to sit next to me. And sometimes they're no longer in the program. And, um, you know, we've had to... Not lately, but uh, probably in the last several years. But in my early years, we had to make some really tough decisions. But I always went back to, um, you know, the values that we had, the standards that we were going to have, um, what we wanted our culture to look like, wh who we were going to be, what we were going to be, what we were going to stand for, what we weren't going to stand for. Um, and I think a lot of those things, when I look at Coach Knight's teams, it's very similar in the fact that there was a tremendous amount of discipline. And I appreciate that. Coach, can you talk to, a little, to us a little bit about the depth? You had 11 different players score tonight. What can you say about the depth this team has going forward? Well, I think it's exciting. You know, we think we always go into the exhibition game and early games, and, and we're able to play a lot of people. And, um, you know, that, that, that's always great, you know, because they work so hard in practice. And, um, you know, you want to get them time, and you want – you, you realize that the only way they're going to get better and the only way they're going to get, get experience is by playing. Um, and so, um, you know, tonight was, uh, you know, we were hopeful. We, we kind of knew that uh, going into it, sort of the game plan in terms of some of those veterans, we only wanted to see them in the first half, a little bit in the third, and then we were going to try to get them out as quickly as we could. Hey, Coach, we talked multiple times last year about Lexus and sort of what she can mm -hmm. be for this program. Right. She seemed really comfortable on the floor yeah. tonight. She was able to make the extra pass. Yeah. Um, could we see her role sort of expand this upcoming season? Yeah, there's no no question that by Lexi by far has had, um, once she had a great summer, but then she had a great preseason for us, um, you know, inside of our practices, played with a lot of confidence, has really worked on her outside shot. But, um, you know, I think the thing with fresh, the, the, the most the, the best thing about them is they become sophomores right and um, you know there's just so much that they don't know that freshman year and um, you know both she and Lily and Yarn's a little bit different um, and, so, and Henna is also because they've been playing well Yarden had been playing professionally so you know she she's a, an even though she's young, she's old, if that makes any sense. But um, Lexi and, and Lily both um, look completely different than they did a year ago in terms of uh, comfort, um, confidence. And, um, you know, it would be nice to have uh, Lexi play with the confidence because now we can, uh, you know, play Chloe off the ball, which is, you know, kind of uh, her natural position, even though last year you saw her a lot at the point because of Berger being out. Um, but... Um, yeah, she's she's had a great um, uh, great preseason, and we expect a lot from her. Coach, congratulations on the Thanks, win. Yep. Um, you're talking about being able to see everyone tonight. Uh, we saw eight minutes in the first half of Lily Meister. Mm -hmm. uh, Fifty two was pulling down rebounds, scoring, dishing off. Mm -hmm. um, Tell me not only what you liked. I, I mean, her, her dominance in the paint when she was in mm -hmm. looked like a future All-American, looked like <laughs> a future 54. Talk about not only what you liked about her, but talk about also the flexibility. I, I noticed in that fourth quarter you played her in the four. Uh, so right. tell us a little something about that. Please. Yeah, no, I mean, again, you know, and we've seen uh, Lily, you know, she does have the ability to shoot it beyond the arc, even though uh, she was a little bit short on the last one or the only one that she took. But... Um, um, 
you know, I thought she, she, she was such a quiet kid last year for us, but she was so productive and so integral and important um, in so many of those games. Uh, and, um, you know, she's just continued again. She's uh, changed her body a little bit. She's put on really good weight. Um, and when I say weight, muscle, um, you know, she's, she's worked uh, tirelessly with uh, Coach Rhett, uh, you know, in the gym outside of practice times. But, uh, you know, like I, I mentioned with Lexi, there's just a different comfort level about both of them. And Lily feels, I think, certainly comfortable. She kind of knows how we do things now. She knows what to expect in practice. She knows that she's going to have to come in and relieve Mac, and she knows that her her minutes that she that we do give her are very important because we still need an inside presence. And so, um, I'd love it if she could be an, a, another All American post player for us. Um, but uh, certainly, she's talented uh, and uh, continues to get better. Coach, throughout the game, and especially in the first quarter when the starters were still in, we saw a lot of pushing the ball up the court and scoring on the break. Is that sort of fast play what we can expect in the future, and is that going to continue into Big Ten play? Are you are you new to us? Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and that's fine. I, I'm I'm just asked you because that's how we want to play. That's part of our ammo. That's um, you know, we we talk a lot about and a lot of a lot of a lot of schools do. A lot of teams do about playing fast and wanting to play downhill. But um, you know, it's cer certainly something um, that we uh, we pride ourselves in. We 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 practice it. We do it every single day. Our kids like to play that way. Um, and, uh, you know, when you have uh, playmakers, but you also have kids that are unselfish, that move the ball, uh, willing to make a, the, the extra pass, uh, it's, it's fun. And, um, and so, yes, uh, you know, that was part of the game plan in the second half, but we didn't get as many runouts in that second half as we did the first. Um, and, um, and so that's what Lexi has to come in and, uh, and Henna and Bo, you know, they have to continue to push the ball like the Sarahs do and Yardens and, and Chloe always do. Um, we, we need that, that next unit to come in and, 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 and push the ball for sure. Terry, you talked a while ago about, you know, wanting to protect McKenzie's workload, you know, especially early mm -hmm. in the season, like in practices. How much of an emphasis is that in games like tonight? And are you maybe kind of hoping to scale back a little bit the number, of, the amount of minutes she's playing in some of these early, non, uh, early season non-conference games? And how well equipped do you think your front court depth is to handle that? Yeah, I, and again, and Skip asked, you know, about Lily. I mean, we felt very comfortable with what Lily can provide for us. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, She's probably she's probably ticked that she only played 14 minutes, right? And then and you look at her her uh, you know her line's pretty impressive, but um, yeah, you know Seth, I keep I keep saying it, you know I just we got to protect Mac from Mac because um, she feels she feels really good, um, and uh, and we have in practice we've really managed her I think well in practice. Um, and um, but but she also has to she there there's there is such a thing as and we see it when 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 you know players get injured um, the rhythm the flow you know if they don't we we still got to provide her with minutes where she, they're enough that she always feels like she has rhythm when she gets in you know to the next game and on to the next game and so um, you know and and you know certainly there are some. Um, it, it, it puts me in a conundrum sometimes also because uh, there's things out there that she can accomplish here. Uh, and I have to make sure that I am uh, doing um, right by her to make sure I put her in those positions to accomplish some of those goals. Um, not that she has, but that this program has for McKenzie. Um, yeah, you pulled Juliana aside during, I think, a free throw from mm -hmm. Lily and talked to her for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then the next offensive possession, she scored her first points of the night. Just what did you say yeah. to her in that, or how did you encourage her there? I, again, you know, um, I, I think she and Bo were, again, just their typical freshman nerves, butterflies. And so I just told her to relax, right? Um, and then I coached her up on the defensive side of the ball um, when we were, uh, you know, out of our, our, our blobs and slob defense. Um, she had a little bit of a miscue, so I just reminded her, coached her up, and then I just reminded her to relax and have fun. And, um, 
you know, and so, you know, she smiled, which gave me great relief. And then she hit that layup, which I was thrilled about because I thought if she misses this, I might have to take her out and, um, you know, um, you know, sit her and, 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 and really have a conversation with her. Um, but, uh, she, she handles herself. Like I said, she just, she, she just, I can't overstate it guys. These, these two just want to do right. They just want to please us and, and do everything perfectly. And as I, keep telling them there's there's no perfect game they're going to make mistakes um, but uh, their job is to play through those and put them in the rearview mirror and move forward and make something good happen on the next play hey coach uh, Sarah went five for eight from three tonight how important do you think that was for her early confidence and what did you think of her game tonight? well again she's been shooting the ball uh, really well in practice um, as I've said Sarah Scalia looks the best that she's ever looked in her career in terms of fitness level I think her mind uh, her confidence um, all of it and um, you know, uh, it's it's great and that, that she can come in and she can shoot it uh, with the confidence, and we're going to need her to continue to do that. Uh, you know, we know this about her. She she is lethal. You know, she is lethal. She she can cause problems uh, for the defense. Um, and um, you know, I just I just want her to do what all great shooters do: uh, when in doubt, shoot it. Always be in doubt. And. Um, um, and if she misses one, she needs to come back and have a short memory and, and, and knock the next one down. Um, but um, I thought she, she played uh, great tonight. It was, it was great to see how comfortable she looked as well, because I think we forget she and Sid and, you know, we had six new, new newcomers last year that were all new to everything. And so, um, you know, I think Sarah looks uh, extremely comfortable. Zach Osterman from the Indy Star. Zach, go ahead. Hi, Zach. Can you turn the volume up on the computer, please? Hang on, Zach. He's on you. He was. Zach, try again. All right. I, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm not yes, muted yeah. on my end. Yep. All right. Um, sorry to veer away from the game again. You, you've talked about this a little bit, but I, I wanted to ask you, too, just as someone – I recognize this answer could be hours long in some ways, but as someone who grew up in Southern Indiana, you've talked about growing up around, around IU basketball and coach Knight's program. I guess, how would you explain to someone his cultural importance to the state in terms of, you know, the, his, his teams, but also his legacy, his personality, all those different kinds of things. I, again, I recognize. Yeah, I, I think that would be long. Um, you know, he's, he's what we call the goat, right? That, that uh, he did it. Um, in a way that, uh, n you know, I, n nobody's ever done it and uh, did it with, uh, you know, players that, um, uh, you know, might uh, look and be a little unathletic at times, but uh, his motion offense was something of a beauty and the way he taught the game and the way he taught, you know, coached those guys up. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I get to hear a lot of stories, especially from Timmy G, who's, you know, was with Coach Knight for the longest time and how he would run practices and the expectations and the standards, which I've already talked about. Um, but, um, you know, the one thing, Zach, that I, I go back to is just the discipline that he had. You know, he, um, you know, defensively, um, just stingy defensively, um, disciplined defensively. Um, you know, all of it. And then, um, you know, just the way that he could um, put his, his men in position to take advantage of the, the team that was guarding them defensively. Um, he was masterful at being able to, able to pick uh, defenses apart. Uh, and I don't know that we've, we've seen another person or coach like him, um, you, know, uh, you know, since he's, he's been out of the game.